Hello friends, we are studying about faith. We have seen the importance of having faith in every aspect of our lives. And today uh, I want us to focus on one scripture. This is from Hebrews 11 and verse 1. I am reading it from the Amplified Version. It says, Now faith is the assurance or title deed confirmation of things hoped for divinely guaranteed and the evidence of things not seen the conviction of their reality faith comprehends as fact what cannot be experienced by the physical senses so this passage of hebrews 11 it's uh, it's about faith and the very first verse begins with the phrase now faith is no faith is always in the now and uh, the scripture tells us that faith is for the things which we hope for. Now faith is for the things that are hoped for tomorrow. So that shows us that God wants us to have faith right now uh, for the different things that we want to see happen in our spiritual walk in our life in the days to come tomorrow so what is this now faith that you and i can have the amplified version also uses these terms title deed confirmation you know in the same way when we make a very large purchase uh, uh, many of us you know we we um, uh, pay up a little bit of money and then we are given the title deed and that title deed is the evidence that we actually own that large purchase you know whether it is a, a piece of land or or a um, you know some very expensive equipment but you have a confirmation in the form of a title deed and in the same way in every believer's life now we must carry faith or carry the assurance that God is going to do something in our lives based on his word tomorrow. And if we do not have any assurance right now, then this scripture tells us that God cannot perform miracles. You know, God cannot fulfill his word tomorrow because there's absolutely nothing in us which is an evidence or an assurance that we are carrying right now. So faith is that assurance. Faith is that title deed and faith is now and we must have a deposit of that faith now. Where do we get this faith from? We get this faith from what we call the quickened word of God or the word of God which has been spoken uh, into our situation. Now. Uh, the word of God is spoken in different ways into our lives. The common one being uh, f when we're reading God's word, you know, something stands out for us there and God speaks to us uh, in our very situation. Faith comes from there. We stand on the word of God and that's the place where faith begins. So today, uh, dear friends, I want to encourage us, get faith. If there's something that you're wondering about, if you're asking a God uh, about something uh, regarding your life, you know, get into God's word uh, and hear from God and faith will begin there. You will have now faith for God to fulfill things tomorrow in your life. Let's pray together. Father God, we thank you that we can have faith now, the assurance, O oh God, of your goodness, your faithfulness and your power, O oh God, uh, in our lives. And Lord, I pray that each one of us, we will walk by faith, Lord, and we will see the fulfillment of your promises. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.